you are welcome to this channel if you are new here click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to notify you when we drop our video and if you've been here before thanks for coming back again so here we bring to you the physics practical optics for NECO examination so if you are preparing for this exam this is um, a typical optic question you can use to get an idea of what you might likely to come across in your exam so now let's take a look at this diagram so in this diagram we are having a ray box there a ray box lens convex lens with the uh, lens holder and you have a screen good so the setup is going to be like this so the distance between the ray box and the lens is u then you can take the distance between the screen and the um, lens to be uh, v though the value of that was not used here in the practical so we only concentrate on the value of u and a which is actually the height of the object on the ray box and then that's a not rather why a is the height of the object the image of that object formed on the screen so now you are going to follow this procedure to understand this exper experiment so that when you come across such you will know how to follow that procedure so this is not the exact question you might come across but this will give you an insight or an idea of what you are probably likely to meet there so now you are provided with an illuminated object which is the ray box converging lens then screen meter rule and other necessary material so you have to measure and record the size of the illuminated object so this is the illuminated object place the object o and the screen s on opposite side all these stories is just to sh make sure you arrange it like this okay so now what are you going to use to measure your distance you are using a meter rule and we are going to practicalize the video you're going to see how it is so now set the distance um i mean the objects place the object o on the screen s and the screen s rather on opposite side of the converging lens that is how it has been placed in the diagram then set the distance between the object and the lens u equals 30 centimeters so which means the first setup of the lens is that u is going to be 30 centimeter so when u is 30 centimeter you adjust the screen until you see a sharp image of that object on the screen so the sharp image is the one label a why the height of it is a now measure and record the size of the image so the size of that image is a you are recording that so you don't need to measure the distance between the screen and the lens in this case of this experiment you just have to uh, move the screen at any distance from the lens such that you have a sharp image of the object and then you measure the height of the image so you evaluate m and m inverse okay uh, the m evaluated will be in the table yeah just that the formula use is not here so you evaluate m and m inverse so m is actually magnification so you can easily use the formula for magnification to evaluate m which is a uh, uh, image height over object height so the image height a over a naught so that is uh, magnification so if you are to use the distance in case you are told to concentrate on the distance between the screen and the lens that means your magnification could be v over u so here the magnification should be a over a naught in each case of the experiment so we are going to repeat the procedure by varying the distance u to be 35 40 45 50 and you are going to find the value of m and m inverse in each case so you tabulate your reading you plot your graph with m inverse that's m raised to power minus one on vertical axis and u on horizontal axis determine the slope s of the graph and intercept e on the vertical axis then 
from your graph you determine the value of u for which m raised to the power minus one is zero then you take your take your state your precaution and at the same time you can still use your graph like this question the, this question says using your graph determine the value of m for which u is 37. so and then this is just a theoretical question that says sketch a diagram to illustrate how converging lens may be used to produce a real diminished image of an object so which is just a simple um, analysis so now let's look at how the practical looks like in the next slide of the video okay so the experiment is about to start so as you can see the ray box here this is the ray box and this is a meter rule so we have our lens holder and the lens at the center then the screen down there so we're going to set the distance the distance between the object and the image which is from here all to here so that first setting should be 30 centimeters so let's see how it goes in the experiment let's see how to do it so let's take the measurement of the object first so to do that i go on taking the measurement and this is giving me about three centimeters of the results yes i'm having if i take it from here so i'll be having three centimeter okay let us target the uh, one standing not actually the one crossing so let's look at this this major one the one standing here is what we'll concentrate on so we have taken the measurements of this one let's forget about this but both are just crossed so now since i've taken this and i'm having three centimeter according to this that is right from here down here i'm having three centimeters so my a naught is going to be recorded as three 0 0.0 centimeter so i have done that now so the next thing is to go for the line of action so i have 3.0 centimeter there as my a naught i've recorded in the table so now we are going to take our readings and the first reading says we should set the u to be 30 centimeters so which means the line here should fall on the 30 centimeter the line here the line of symmetry here should fall at the 30 so and that is going for 30 so and don't forget we have this so since it's on 30 then we begin to adjust the screen i think i adjust backward first so then i adjust it forward again so so i can see the sharp okay let's move further away again so it's getting blood so let's move closer so i think it's around this region so the image is sharp here the sharp image has been noticed on the screen can you see that so then we take the reading or the size of that image so let me measure the size of the image so by doing that I'm going to measure the height so in order to uh, prevent obstruction so I take my measurements right from the zero so and this gives me so 3.2 3.20 so I have 3.20 here so now let's go for the next measurement so the next measurement say we should make that 35 so we should adjust this to 35 and see what would happen so if we adjust this to 35, then we need to move either further away or closer. When we move closer, we got, okay. Since we measured the height of the one standing, so I wouldn't want to take, uh, or let's just take this. So we have this. And the corresponding height of the image formed here is. So now, when I said the uh, measurement now is 2. Point, this is 2.5. 2 2.5. So let's put that on the table. I have 2.5. 2.50. So now let's move to the next one. So that is when we go to 40. 
so that is 40. So when we move to 40, what will be the size of the image? So moving backward, we discover that it appears blocked. So I'm getting to this point, I think I've seen the sharp image. So then the point of the sharpest image is what we should anticipate or we should look for. So, and this is, yeah, this is this point now. So I think this will be set in 40. Okay, good. So we have this. Now let's take the measurement of that value. If we take the measurement of the size, this gives a This is two point two points. This actually give two points two point four. Oh. Okay, I'm saying two point three rather. Right? So now let's put that also two point three zero. So let's move to forty five centimeter. So if we place that to be 45 so what would happen so can we see that okay the image gets diminished as we increase the distance of the object so so i think we have the sharpest image here it's around this region so now we can take our measurements from here so taking the measurement from here, I have a Okay This is one point One point One point eight we have 1.8 here, so let's put that into recording, 1.80. So lastly, let's move to 50 centimeter. So 50 centimeter, what are we going to have as object height or size? Take the measurement. So this gives um one point that is one point six one point six actually so we have one point six zero so this is the resulting table from the experiment performed so you can make use of it to plot your graph where m inverse is going to be on vertical axis and u would be on horizontal axis from there you can attempt the other question so if you want to learn more about how to plot graph you can make use of a previous video or you can request for a special video on graph plotting thank you